Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to the Thai Expat Daily Show. I'm your host, Kira Mack, as always, and delighted you've been able to tune in with us yet again for another show. Now, before we do get started, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when the next podcast or show is uploaded on the platform. And finally, if you'd like to become a member, which will help us grow and grow and grow, you can do so by looking down below in the description and following the link to channel membership. But now that's all done and dusted, let's jump into those top stories trending here in Thailand today. This morning, a joint team from Chiang Mai Zoo and Doi Suta Pui National Park was actively searching for a loose kangaroo, which was filmed heading towards Doi Suta. Officials are eager to locate the animal quickly, concerned that it might be attacked by dogs. The kangaroo's escape was discovered this morning when villagers spotted it near Si Soda Temple in Tambon Sutep. A driver later filmed the kangaroo and reported that it had disappeared into the woods opposite the temple. Officials noted that the kangaroo was moving towards a community with many dogs, increasing the risk of it being attacked. Thailand's Attorney General has decided to charge paroled former Prime Minister Taksin Shinawatra with Les Majeste, related to a comment he made to South Korean media on May 21st, 2015. The AG has postponed Taksin's indictment before the criminal court, to June 18th due to Taksin contracting COVID-19 and needing rest until June 3rd, according to Prayot Pecha Raccoon, spokesman for the Office of the Attorney General. Taksin's lawyer had requested a further postponement until June 25th, citing his illness and providing a doctor's certificate recommending seven days of rest. Taksin did not appear this morning, but sent his lawyer to acknowledge the charge on his behalf. Pryot explained that the AG decided on the June 18th date based on the doctor's certification. The postponement will not affect the AG's decision to charge Taksim with Les Majeste. The indictment process, initially decided by the former AG on September 19, 2016, was suspended due to Taksim's self-imposed exile. After his return last August and treatment at the Police General Hospital, Taksim was notified of the charge on January 17th. Taxon denied the charge, prompting further investigations and evidence submissions by the police. Rayong Dutapau Airport is set to make history by becoming the world's first airport to feature a Formula One racetrack. Thai Prime Minister Sareta Tavasin has directed relevant agencies to draft plans for this ambitious project aiming to boost tourism by attracting motorsport enthusiasts. The initiative follows the Prime Minister's recent visit to Italy, where discussions were held with Formula One Group CEO regarding the possibility of Thailand hosting an F1 race by 2027 or 2028, with PTT as a sponsor. It's estimated that hosting such an event could draw 300,000 local and foreign enthusiasts, generating over 12 billion baht in income and creating 6,000 jobs. The proposed racetrack, integrated into Utapau International Airport's airside area, won't disrupt airport operations. This development plan part of the broader Utapau International Airport and Eastern Aviation City project aims to open its first phase by 2028. The track will be complemented by various facilities, including tourist attractions and entertainment complexes, aligning with Thailand's vision for an Eastern Aviation City. The CEO of Utapau International Airport Aviation Company Limited expressed readiness to facilitate the government's objectives, leveraging the company's land holdings for the venture. However, careful planning is essential to synchronize track construction with airport expansion to accommodate growing passenger traffic. A staff member at a popular dim sum restaurant in Phuket Town has issued a warning to fellow service workers to double check mobile payments before customers leave. This caution comes after she was deceived by a customer, resulting in the unpaid bill being deducted from her salary. The staffer, Nong Lin, recounted the incident which occurred around 11am on May 23rd at Café Dim Sum Phuket near the Clock Tower Circuit in Phuket Town. A group of diners ate for about 20 minutes before one person stayed behind to settle the bill while appearing to be on a phone call and waiting for leftovers to be packed. The woman scanned the QR code for payment 
but did, she did not complete the transaction before leaving. It was only later that the restaurant staff realized the payment hadn't gone through. Speaking to reporters on May 27th, Nan Ling said that there was this was her first experience of such an incident. She shared her story online to alert others, receiving significant attention and comments from local residents. Despite this, she still was held accountable for the 285 baht unpaid by the customer. In response, the restaurant is now reviewing its payment procedures to prevent similar incidents in the future. A viral clip showing foreign boxers and their cornermen fighting in a boxing ring has been widely criticized by netizens. The incident occurred on May 26 at Bangla Boxing Stadium in Patong, Phuket, during the final main event between an Irish boxer in the red corner and a Russian boxer in the blue corner. As the ring announcer was about to announce the results, the Russian boxer performed a backflip, confident of his victory. However, the judges declared the Irish boxer the winner with a score of 49-48. to 48. This provoked the Russian boxer, leading to a clash between the boxers and their cornermen. Some spectators also joined the brawl. The altercation was quickly resolved in less than two minutes by security personnel and the ring announcer. The championship belt was awarded to the Irish boxer and both boxers left the stage without further incident. Tourists were later allowed to take pictures on the stage as usual. Clips shared online only showed the brawl leading to misunderstandings about the incident's severity. Stadium officials urged those sharing the clips to post the complete footage to clarify that the incident was not as violent as it appeared and that no one was injured. On May 28, the Sports Authority of Thailand and Phuket summoned those involved to explain the incident. The two boxers shook hands and apologized, expressing regret for the altercation. So as we conclude today's episode, I want to invite you to share your thoughts in the comments below. This show isn't just about delivering news, it's about fostering a conversation. Your insights and perspective matter to me. So keep the dialogue alive, like this video, subscribe to our channel and share it with others. Your support means the world to us. I'm Kira Mack, you've been tuning in to the Thai Expat Daily Show. Until next time, take care and stay engaged.